is day number 14 of the 28 days of love and it is the special day the day of love happy valentine's day to you i am your host dr sabrina the people expert and today we're going to begin our five day journey into the five stages of a love relationship mm -hmm. all love relationships have five stages if they make it to each stage and so today we're going to talk about the first stage we're going to go a little deep we're going to talk about the passion stage and every stage starts with the p so it's the five p's of love relationships the five p stages the first stage is passion and so think about it when you first fail in love and i don't even like to call it falling in love i like to call it walking into love rising into love because anytime i have fallen it has not been good anytime i have fallen down the steps fallen on the porch fallen and i can't get up mm, it's not been good so i don't want to fall in love i want to choose love but when i choose love i need to be informed about the stages that this love relationship will go in so the first stage the passion stage is the romantic stage oh that's when you're infatuated and when you think about the word romance and passion i kind of looked it up and saw some other things that we think about words that go with passion affection mm, you know you can't wait to touch them and rub on their face and all of that you are showing strong feelings intense feelings for the person there's excitement about seeing the person or hearing from the person there's joy there is a uh, rapture there's a love there's a crush there's infatuation there is can i say it the other l word lust uh-huh because things in your loins get excited when you're around this person at this stage but there's also a flip side to this you may have misery because when you have this high feeling about this person and you really want to be with this person, when you don't, when you can't, there becomes misery. There's an ache that you're longing to be with that person. Have you ever been so connected to a person, so infatuated, so just wanted to hear from them and you don't hear from them? That's not a good space. So knowing that that happens in this passion stage. So one of the things that happen in this passion stage is that I call it the, uh, mm, we can call it a lethal cocktail. The lethal cocktail that the brain releases. When you are in this stage with a person, your brain has a cocktail that it produces oxycontin dopamine endorphins all those things uh, are put together and that lethal cocktail makes you look crazy it also makes you feel like and act like you're addicted like you're addicted to a drug that same feeling that you have if you are addicted to alcohol or crack or heroin or whatever that thing is that you're longing for that you done got hooked into that's what this cocktail does in your brain so you will have a euphoric feeling around being with this person and your brain is going to release those hormones and that lethal combination, that really makes you a little cray cray. Mm -hmm. Makes you a little crazy. Makes you just a little crazy. It just does. And so you need to understand that this high that you have at this stage can last anywhere from two months to two years. Oh, yes, you can be so infatuated. So I remember when me and my second husband, and I have to be honest, I've been married twice. So I have two husbands because I've been divorced twice. But my second husband, it was almost like soon as we got together, it was some type of electric something. It just was like, psh, psh, psh. and everywhere he went, I went. Everywhere I went, he went. It was like, where you going? Where you going? What you doing? What you doing? We were so just wanting to be together. And I was so happy 
to be around him. We laughed, we joked, we, oh my goodness, it was just a wonderful time. It really was. And so in that stage, that's a great thing. But when that stage is coming to an end and that, that combination of those endorphins and those that that oxycontin or that dopamine when that is leaving you can have what i call love withdrawal and with love withdrawal it's like a love hangover mm -hmm. you remember the the boss uh-huh diana ross herself said uh -huh. if there's a cure for this i don't want it i don't want it ha! no it's a sweet hangover. They want it. You want to be with that person. You want that attachment. You want that connection. You want the affection. You want all of that. So in this stage, you also need to know that you are attracted to your opposite. So the thing that you are high in, generally your mate is not. And the thing that your mate is high in, generally you are not. So the very thing at the beginning you are excited about because it's different, it's new, it's you have different things to talk about, different interests. You're excited about learning about them. They're excited about learning about you. But the very thing that caused you to draw all in when this stage is over may cause you to be repelled. The very thing that you thought was so fascinating is the thing that'll get on your nerves. So you have to know that you're gonna go through these stages and when you have the intellect and the knowledge and the wisdom, you can go through the stages knowing what to expect, knowing how to move to the next stage so that you can get to the point that you're at that last stage. Mm. And that's a paradise stage. Yes, you go from passion to paradise. So. Know that if you're new in love, that you are at the passion state. But let me say this. Know the state. Know the stage. Know the feelings. Because just because you navigate through to the next stage don't mean you can't go back there. Don't mean you can't generate it when you want it. That's what keeping the home fires burning is talking about. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Everybody, today, lock into that passion stage. Release it for yourself. Hashtag 28 days of love. I will see you tomorrow.